I woke up at 6.30 today, you guys. Oh my God, who am I? I'm so productive. So you guys know how I had that little awkward section of my apartment that I just wasn't happy with. I put a bench there. I was like, doesn't look right to me. It's still kind of bothering me, but I'm just over it. So I'm just gonna live with the bench being there. I found the perfect solution. I'm so excited. I put a keyboard here because I'm trying to learn piano. Uh, I've tried in the past and I've given it up like I do with everything in life, um, let's be real. But I really, really, really wanna learn. And I'm thinking as my 30th birthday present to myself, I'm gonna get professional lessons. I have been teaching myself a little tune. I just started, I'm not very good, but let's see if you guys can recognize it. Not starting off too good. <laughs> we got this, we got this, here you? Okay, here we go, here we go. No. Ew, I forgot it. <laughs> light makeup before I go out for the day. I have a few things I have to do today. Just, uh, you know, maybe take some photos, maybe do a little grocery shopping. I don't know why I'm putting on so much blush. <laughs> makeup is done. I've been going for a very kind of like soft glam look lately where it's not, I wouldn't call it no makeup makeup, but it's not like heavy makeup. It's very kind of like, I look like my real self, you know what I mean? Um, but before I head out, I would like to give some quick love to today's sponsor, Fabletics. So with the holidays approaching, we're all going into a bit of like a hibernation mode right now and, you know, probably slacking a little bit on our fitness game. And I feel like a lot of us, we kind of do the thing where we gain a little bit of weight at the end of the year and then once New Year's Eve hits, we're like, this year, I swear, I'm gonna get my dream body. I'm gonna hit the gym starting January 1st. It's gonna be amazing. And then I feel like the majority of us after about three weeks uh, when we don't see abs, we just kind of like, <laughs> bye. But you know what I find that keeps me really motivated is having an entire drawer of gym clothes. And just the second I wake up, putting that on because there's this statistic that I read once that said there's a 75% chance of you working out if you're wearing workout clothes. That's definitely not true, I, I just made that up, but <laughs> it definitely helps. It helps at least a little bit. But let's face it, cute gym clothes can be really, really expensive. Like these days for a bra and leggings, it's like over $100, it's a little ridiculous. But that's exactly why actress Kate Hudson and co-founder of Fabletics wanted to create a brand where you could get really stylish fitness clothes at an exceptional price point. So Fabletics is your one-stop shop for affordable athletic gear. They offer clothing for yoga wear, running wear, gym wear, street wear, all of it, they've got you covered. They have new styles, collections, and prints that are released every single month, and their designs are made in-house, which is really cool because that means they're completely original and you won't find them anywhere else. And then most importantly, the pricing is way more affordable than other fitness brands such as Aloe or Lululemon. You can literally get an entire outfit for almost half of the price of an aloe sports bra. So here's how it works. First, you take a super quick style quiz, so they just kind of have a feel for your vibe, what you're looking for, and then also when you do this, make sure you enter your email address because this is how you're gonna gain access to exclusive monthly discounts and know when new collections are dropping and all of their cutest styles sell out really fast, so you definitely wanna know when it's dropping. Uh, next, you shop from thousands of styles that have been curated just for you in your own personal showroom. And then you can check out as a guest or become a VIP and save up to 50% off of regular prices, get free shipping, as well as some other additional perks. 
And I also thought I would do like a little mini try on haul and share with you guys the items that I got the last time I placed an order at Fabletics, just so you can kind of get like a general vibe of the pieces and how I style them. First up, we have this little red number, which is super gorgeous. Definitely will get you some attention if you wear this at the gym. Uh, it's very flattering and I really like all the detailing on this. It has a very moto vibe, which is definitely on trend. Next, we have the classic black on black look. This is really my go-to look and I'm in love with these little hidden pockets. They just feel so comfortable and also the back of this bra is super cute. Then if you wanna go from gym wear to street wear, you can swap out the leggings for these super comfy sweats. I could literally live in this look. It is just like the most me. So if you guys would be interested in trying out Fabletics for yourselves, they're actually offering you guys a really, really great deal. Two pair of leggings for $24, which is a $99 value. All you have to do is click my link in the description below. Currently on my way to meet with my friend Hana. Uh, we are catching up, getting a tea, maybe taking some Instagram photos. That She posted on her story yesterday that she was in OC and looking uh, for a photographer. And I'm like, girl, I got you. <laughs> I got you. So we're meeting up. I'm gonna take some photos of her. Maybe she'll take one of me. I mean, my Instagram game is pretty weak. I don't think I've posted in like five months. But I'm terrified of photos. I think you guys know this. It's like my biggest fear. It's really irrational. Every time I take a photo of myself, I just feel like I become like 1% more insecure. So I just kind of stopped taking photos. But it is my New Year's resolution to get over it and get on my Instagram game. And Hana is like, kills it on Instagram. So she's gonna coach me, teach me the ways. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm. I'll be lucky if I if I get one photo out of this. Look how beautiful. I love where I live. Gorgeous. So we're meeting up at Earth Cafe, and if you are from Los Angeles, then you know the Earth Cafe is always, always, always busy. But I thought, for sure, since this is the one in Laguna, like, and it's a weekday at 12.30, it's not gonna be that crowded, right? Like parking, it'll be easy. Definitely not. <laughs> I think it might be worse than LA. Like, what is this? And what's really crazy is like, I'm not good at parallel parking because I grew up in Missouri and we didn't really have to parallel park. There's parking for days in Missouri because no one wants to live there. Um, and all of these spots were so tight, but luckily my Tesla has this feature where it auto parallel parks for you. And I found this spot and it was so close and I got so excited and then my car started parking itself because I was like, fuck, I cannot fit in this spot by myself. Um, it started doing it and then I got halfway and it just stopped and it said canceled. And I was just like, how are you gonna do me like that? Like, I, I spend so much money on this car because it can do things like this and then it just like stops and says, never mind. Look at this line. Who has time for this? For a coffee? Are you crazy? Not us, bye. <laughs> this is Hana. Hey we just shot some photos. Uh, not that we went to Earth Cafe, but we still got some photos. So <laughs> that's really all that matters. And now, yeah, hashtag blogger life. Hana's changing outfits. Usually it's in the car. Okay, so we just took some photos. Um, how did I do? Amazing, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> The first photo that we took compared to the last photo that we took, like even that little 30 minutes of shooting, you really learn. Yeah, right. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Compare the photo. I really wish I could have like had a third person capturing this because it's like Hana, I would do her pictures and it's like a model, just like a million poses and like so natural. And I'm just like struggling. Dude, over. you're not struggling at all. But I wish we kind of set up the camera so you could have seen. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time. It was definitely a process. We had so much fun just laughing at how awkward I am. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. If you guys want to do me a huge favor, go and follow her on Instagram. I will put her handle in my video description. She's just the best. I love her. Um, now, believe it or not, I am actually headed to Whole Foods. 
which is kind of a big deal because tomorrow is Thanksgiving and it's gonna be a madhouse. I don't know why I waited to the last second to go, I just did. So tomorrow I'm actually celebrating over at Joey and Daniel's house with them and their family. They were so sweet to invite me. They were probably like, Kalel, she's all alone in Orange County. Like, we have to have her with our family. So they're genuinely just two of the best people I've ever met. Like, the biggest hearts, so kind, love them. We've gotten really close lately. And um, so I'm gonna bring some things. I'm gonna bring a cheese platter. I'm gonna bring, I'm thinking I'm gonna make like a sweet potato casserole and then some wine, obviously. I'm gonna bring some board games. Uh, <laughs> It should be really fun. I'm really excited. So tonight I'm thinking I want to just bake the casserole and just have it done um, because it is like a two hour drive and it's probably going to be even more because so many people are driving tomorrow. It's probably going to be like three, three and a half hours. So should probably just get it all done tonight. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to Whole Foods, going to try to find all of the ingredients, which please, can they not be out of sweet potatoes? Oh my gosh, that's like probably going to happen now that I've put it out into the universe. So I went to the biggest and the best Whole Foods in Orange County. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh. It's a little hectic. I haven't even made it in yet and I already know the vibes because parking was like cutthroat. Well, I made it out alive guys and I realized that since I'm gonna be driving so far with food, I needed a cooler. Thank God they had one. Like this monstrous one. But I mean, I guess it's kind of nice to have for the future when I go places and bring food. <laughs> Finally, I made it back home from the grocery store. I have everything squared away. I was just writing my recipe, trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this because I've actually never made a sweet potato casserole before, but I thought it would be, I thought it'd be like more interesting, more fun than just like throwing some sweet potatoes and putting marshmallows on top. That's just like boring, all right? I need a challenge. I need something new. So whenever I create a recipe, Usually what I'll do is I'll look at five popular recipes online and I'll kind of uh, just feel out each one and know what I would change and just kind of pull inspiration from all of them and then create a hybrid from those recipes. And that's kind of what I did. Let's hope it turns out. Otherwise, I'm gonna be really embarrassed when everybody tries it and has to act like they like it and it's not good. All right, we're making moves, guys. The potatoes are done. Now for the part that I'm scared of. This I knew was gonna turn out. This, I think I could mess up the whole thing with this. If only you guys could smell right now the scents in my apartment. We have the kind of like toffee candied marshmallow. I did some brown sugar and butter and let it caramelize and then I added the marshmallow and I'm like on really, really low heat slowly kind of liquefying it. How cool is that? <laughs> it looks so cool. And then I'm candying some pecans over here with some maple butter, some cinnamon, a little bit of salt to counter all of this sugar. Mm, it smells just unreal. This looks kind of crazy, but, oh boys, you want to say hi, huh? Yes, very important message from boy son. Um, <laughs> so it looks kind of weird, but my thought process behind this was that way I can just throw this in the oven for like 10 minutes and warm it up when we get there. But the marshmallow hasn't really been roasted yet. It's been just slowly melted. And so you see it's kind of like sheet, like it's like a, like it's like glass, it's like hardened. And then I think what will happen when I reheat it is it'll kind of bubble up and spread more evenly and then harden and then I'm gonna put the candied nuts just like on top while it's still a little bit moist. <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out. That may have been a bad idea. I probably should have just waited and done the topping once I got there, but it's done now, so. Me and Buki are just ending our night by catching up on This Is Us. It was a Thanksgiving episode, which is very appropriate considering tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know though, this show, it's almost like, did they gotta be so emotional every episode? At first it was like kind of cute, but now it's kind of like predictable, but I still like it. There's something about it that's like really comforting that I like. It like makes me feel, 
it makes me feel like they're like my family or something i think i don't know it just like brings me some kind of weird comfort and yes boys likes it too we were just cuddling and i had to get up to get my camera and she got very mad yes i know you're very mad you want to go to bed she like this cat we're so bonded you guys don't understand like she lives for the cuddles like she gets so excited when it's time to go to bed you want to go to bed yes mama come here come here come say hi come on come on let's go yeah yeah see look at that beautiful fat belly <laughs> anyway um i also just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys uh in my last video was it my last video the video before i don't know lots of people kind of talking in the co okay boogie come on come on you can share me for a minute please <laughs> uh, lots of people in the comments uh kind of really tearing me apart and uh saying how pathetic my life is how sad my life is how uh I don't live like a normal person, you know, just <laughs> You would think after I've been doing this for almost 10 years now that I would be Used to being torn apart like that, but it still sometimes really catches me off guard and hurts me and shocks me how Brutal and cruel people can truly be to someone you don't even know online I feel like especially since I really opened up in that video and, and addressed my mental health and how I'm not in the best place and for the fact that a lot of, I don't want to say a lot of you because so many of you are so kind and lovely and supportive. I would say it's maybe like 5% of people are really mean to me. Um, and I think it really hurts because there is truth to what they're saying. You know, I, I'm not like, I'm not trying to say that they're wrong it's just like i think anyone if you shared all of your low points on the internet anyone could tear anyone apart i'm sure like if beyonce shared all of her low thoughts moments vulnerabilities online for 10 years we could all tear apart beyonce and say that her life is pathetic and sad and whatever you know i mean obviously she's killing it success wise but like success isn't just about career there's many things that determine someone's success i think in general success is a mindset success is how satisfied are you you know i i don't know i just i don't know what the point of this is basically i'm just trying to say you know what you're right right now my life is not the best okay i know that um but i feel having low points is crucial for having high points i'm not gonna like you guys have heard this a million times, you know, but if life was one consistent high, it wouldn't be a high because you don't know what high is without low. And right now I am at a low point. I'm trying to find my footing again. I've made a big mistake of the past 10 years centering my life around men and relationships and doing so much for my partners um, that I am lost. I'm very lost. I haven't built the foundation that a lot of people have built going into their 30s because I've been focused on the wrong things. But, um, you know, to be honest with you guys, when I was reading those comments, I broke down and I started crying because it, it hurt to hear that, you know, when, when those are the things that I always tell myself too, you know, I'm not delusional. I'm very harsh on myself. I think you guys probably know that. Um, so it really hurt me. And I was like, this is embarrassing that this is my life and that I'm broadcasting this to so many people. Like they're, they're right. Like this is embarrassing. Um, but then I tried to spin it into something positive. I was like, you know what? you're sharing your life this is youtube okay this isn't a movie your life's not supposed to be perfect this is a journey this is human connection and i think if anything maybe it's it's 
can be a beautiful thing that you guys can witness me at this low point and see if and how I come out of it, what I do next year to improve my life different than I had this year. And I think that's inspirational. I mean, let's see. I'm starting a company next year. Um, maybe I'll date someone new. Maybe I'll make some new friends. Speaking of which, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting like spitty. I don't know why I like started to almost cry and then make my mouth got like really spitty. Um, anyway, so many of you guys emailed me. Like I'm shook. There's like 150 of you guys saying you live like in L LA slash OC and like want to hang out. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is like so overwhelming. I literally thought maybe like five people would reach out. I haven't responded to anyone yet because now it's kind of like, oh, this is going to take a whole day. So I've been kind of putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but I'm going to respond to you guys soon. Um, and definitely I will meet up with some of you. Uh, I feel like at this point, maybe I should just have everyone over and we just have a party. <laughs> should I just have like 50 of you over and we'll like speed friend date and then I'll, I'll call back like 10 of you that I felt I connected with. That's like a, that's like a series, that's like a show. Kalel needs friends. Find Kalel a friend. That's like, that's ridiculous. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. This chat has gotten too long, but thanks for hanging out today, guys. And I hope you had a really great Thanksgiving and I will see you super, super, super soon. Bye. And thanks again to Fabletics for partnering with me on today's video. Make sure to click the link in my description if you wanna take advantage of their special two leggings for $24 offer. My personal favorites, if you want my opinion, are the Mila pocket legging, which is what I was wearing in that black on black look. And then I also love their salad power hold legging, which I believe is their best seller. So you definitely can't go wrong with those two.